Hey everyone, welcome back to more Let's Play Radiata Stories in the last part. We got here to this place where uh, I was called already. Anyways, if you've noticed some inconsistency, inconsistencies of levels and money, well, that's probably because, uh, well, I'll just go ahead and say that I was starting the next video like I was planning on after I recorded last part like a week ago, and what ended up happening was partly partway through that I decided I need to get more money for something I'll show you in a little bit. And pretty much I died, and you know, I hadn't saved yet, so I had to redo everything. Yeah, and so along the way I went ahead and grabbed all the money, killed all the enemies, which I highly, highly recommend because you didn't want that money in levels. Come in! I've on the second so, uh, floor! Yeah, and all the. Oh, what are they? What's the accent? I. I was gonna point out the obvious and say all the dwarves have a dwarven accent, but. <laughs> I don't mean dwarven accent, because that's like. Just being a smart ass. Oh, yeah, the worth of dwarven actions? No. No, they don't. I, I don't know. I, I, now I'm just kicking crap. No, I'm, ki I'm kicking. Never mind. Oh, this is a point. Sorry. Mm, so you are here instead of the Violet Chevray. It is an honor to be of service. Hmm? Who are you? And I'd also like to apologize now, for any of <laughs> my inconsistencies with you are uh, Vane's kid, are you? commentary during these cutscenes. Now I'm like, this is actually kind there of important, so I'll shut up. Alive who doesn't know who your father was. You know? Yes, yes, well, we can talk about my father some other time. Hmm? All right. Interesting. Uh, yes. So yeah, I'm sorry about my inconsistencies. Sometimes I'll talk during the cutscenes, other times I'll just be completely silent. I'll admit sometimes I'll have commented during the did commentary during the cutscenes, but I'll end up cutting it out. Well, one thing, if you haven't noticed by now, I have a horrible, horrible tendency to mutter. Like, You're getting less and less really badly. <laughs> like, I don't, I don't know why, I just, I do it, I, I've, I, I've, I guess I've always done it, because I've never been a very vocal person, so I just kind of, you know, I kind of like, oh, well, I don't know, I guess but, yeah, exactly, <laughs> that's just an example, I'm just doing that purposely, and now I'm like, laughing over the hard economic times of the Roddy out of world, wow, that's bizarrely accurate, or familiar, kind of. And hence the letter. I see. I will make sure that it is delivered safely. Okay. I don't know why I said it like Thank you, my friend. that weird accent. And I feel like I just had another weird accent when I said accent. It's going to take some time to get the trade goods ready. And my voice has been cracking a lot more often, and I'm like 19. Relax, I went through puberty years ago, and I'm just now my voice is cracking. Is my voice high or something? I really thought it dropped a long time ago, I'm pretty sure it did. Anyways, at this point, your party disbands, and since we have to wait for the cargo, we have to wait frickin' forever. But yes, this, I think I mentioned this game has a time system, if not, then this game has a time system! Uh, up to the top left corner, I'm pretty sure I mentioned this, uh, you see the, this, the clock and it moves slowly throughout the day, and each character, yeah, I've, I know I've said that before. Anyways, we're gonna wanna start this off by going over here and Pounding this. Oh, you don't pound it. Just open the door, and here's the general store. Dwarfen. <laughs> I, I see what they did. Yeah, never mind. <laughs> uh, you're gonna want to buy this eagle crest down here. Like, you're going to want to. You see, as you see, it makes you learn one handed sword skills quickly. That's a lot of S's. It's only two. Don't mind me. Uh, Thank you very much. Yeah, you're welcome. Anyways, this will help you, like it says, level your. Uh, skill or evasion, skill or evasion. I don't even sure what luck does. So I'll give it the evil crest. It basically, like I said, la I think I said this last video, but you're gonna want to get your sword level level 10 so you get your faulty blast, and this will help you get there more, a lot more quickly. So that's a good thing to know, and you're also gonna want to drop by this weapon store over here, across the way. Right, no, don't kick it, open it. Like, that's the only thing about this, like, the layout. Like, I'm used to X for some reason. This. All the American games have it like that. Because this game is circle for everything. Except for advanced dialogue, which is X. I don't know. No, I didn't want it. <laughs> oh, this is great. Okay, then. I don't have enough money. So close. I could technically sell my current weapon, then buy one. But instead, I think I'll show you, uh. Well. Maybe I should. Have I, have I, I don't think I've shown off a kick duel yet, so I'll show you what happens. You walk behind them and. <laughs> Watch for your walk and help. He's walking behind you, don't worry. Okay. The fight it is. The fight is on! Yeah. 
I can't do anything remotely, like voice acting, so... <laughs> or at least they have- oh, I'm not at full HP, and I don't have any healing items. <laughs> this is a really bad idea when I come to think of it. Especially since... I'll show this off to you. The analysis ball targets enemy... data... idea... He has 371 HP and I do 4 damage each time. This is this part where I speed it up and makes him a funny vantage. Vantage, apparently I'm German. I've been playing too much Skyrim. <laughs> this is off to a great start. I've got two healing. Oh, just go me, go me. Yeah, and if it wasn't obvious, the key to this battle is running in circles. <laughs> like, stop, let him attack, then you smack him when you stop attacking, and... Yeah, it'll, it'll add up after 100... You'll kill him after 150 hits or so. You know, only 150. And you're gonna want to be careful when you're behind him. <laughs> when he hammers... Oh, gosh. When he does this strong attack where he hammers and that little smoke comes out, if you're standing directly behind him, he'll still be able to hit you. So you're gonna want to back off a little bit and... Or just stand a little bit of range, just don't stand behind him when he's hammering. <laughs> that doesn't sound sexual. Oh, crap. Yeah, I had that one coming. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, no, I don't think I dropped enough money. If I'm lucky, it'll drop money after I beat him. It's not really anymore. Yeah. Why did I do this? I didn't stack anything last time. Someone's like, oh, that's another reporter. I will not do this again. It's a waste of time. You're angry again. There's something horribly wrong with me. And there must be. I need some. I have people I need to think. So keep this guy. Die. Whatever. Die. Just keep this. Stop hiding. I mean, actually, one thing I felt like I've done. Really? Really? There's one thing I may not have noted before. Uh, during a fighting, that little flash right there. I didn't know that was gonna happen actually. Kind of ironic doing all these after I take my critical stuff off. But that's a critical hit. Basically, you do more damage. In my case, I do one more damage. That's because this guy has really over leveled for me. That it's a heals level 20, because that little analysis ball tells you what level he is. 6-6. Six, six. Okay, yeah. Yeah, that double, uh. That double, that double blocking the, uh. Double tapping the guard button saves you a lot of trouble and also will cost. No, I forgot, I forgot, I forgot. I had that one coming. <laughs> this is doing so horribly. Well, thankfully, if you lose during these, you don't die, you skip three, single one HP. So, if you ever get to an actual battle where you can't die, you'll pretty much get double hit. So, you're gonna get one, I'm getting by the regardless. But, you probably won't have enough money. Yeah. And then he's a like, 10 CS against Strokes for whatever reason. That's a good opening attack, that's not obvious. You're not even sure if it's anymore, it's just pretty good so long. That's what she said. Kind of, oh, I don't remember, I don't remember. I'm just making horrible jokes about my horrible commentary. You know, you're not done the face, can't say. I think it's clear by the right. I'm about to do this underground, yeah, you tell us the dwarf. You need to support the dwarf, I'm doing absolutely nothing. I'm a horrible person. You can't believe he can get crap on me. If you take these items, I'll be. I'm not these screwed. I'll be. Go take away more time than I really should. Now I'm just gonna be careless. Keep places dying. Yeah, this one I don't see no care about. This is just annoying. I don't want to lose. Because I'm telling them they're already. And I'm pretty much out of time. I'm out of time. I'm out of time. Oh gosh. I'm losing my health. Oh, I lost. Oh, darn. <laughs> I really don't care at that point, because that was a waste of time anyways. Hmm. Why did he say something about too big? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go ahead and just sell my weapon. You know, be easy. Oh, I can't sell except equipped and sell the weapon I have. So instead I'm gonna sell the luck bracelet. Because I can. I'm sure that's a horrible idea. But now I'm just gonna buy the airplane or the awkward flight, either of them works. This one gives you more CP. Oh, it's <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, uh, the CP is how much skill, or... I'll show you. You buy it. Yes. Sell. Not buy, sell. Here, I'll show you in a bit. Uh, let me sell this real fast, so... There. Come again. Bye! Okay, uh... CP basically allocates how many of these you can put on, so you do right slash, left slash, right slash, left slash, and I'm sorry if I got cross slice off camera on accident. I mean, yeah, it's only the fourth part, and I'm already showing things off camera that I really shouldn't. There was something cross slice, why not? Because I like, haven't actually used it yet. And go. Anyways, now let's run back to the general store. But while I'm doing that, I need to. I need to say this. Like, this is. It's kind of important, but not really. It's like. Okay, I should say this. Uh, huge, 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 huge thanks. If that. Welcome. Like, tone change or note change was really possible, really necessary. But, yeah, huge thanks to Ryu Kins. <laughs> Ryu Kins, uh, I think he was like Ryu, Ryu or something. I'm a horrible person. But, yeah, big shout out to him. That was a really slim boy, yeah. <laughs> but, big thanks to him. Uh, if you probably don't know, actually, no, some of you newer subscribers obviously know. 
but he actually posted a shout out video. I don't know, maybe it's not a shout out, maybe like a plugin. But he actually posted a video uh, directing some of his subscribers to check out my channel and some of my videos, which is really, I'm really thankful for. <laughs> in ways I cannot describe in words because I'm not very, I'm not very rhetoric. Kind of. I don't know, here's the save one. I'm gonna save because I don't want to do all this over again. So basically, huge thanks to him. Uh, it's kind of getting my subscriber count back in the right direction. Because I was I basically, I was, uh, my main problem f changing channels like this was mainly like I had, like I did was mainly because I'd lose. You know, I had like 27, 28. My it's actually been fluctuating because people have been subscribing and unsubscribing because they realize oh he's not posting videos anymore, which I'm not sure why they would subscribe to me if the Let's Play was done, and afterwards they, I, don't, I don't know. Maybe they didn't realize it wasn't done, I don't know. Anyways, there's really not much to do around here yet. Uh, you're gonna want to check out the bar. This bar area. At 5pm to 2am. See, the guy there has something he wants to do. What he wants you to do is basically the only cure sword there. Basically, it's the only quest you can really do around here. You can actually go training in the binds over here. No, it's not over here. It's down a level. But yes, you can go train in the binds there. I wouldn't recommend it because I did it to grind money. So I could buy stuff, and that ended up being a horrible idea since I died. <laughs> That's what I was doing, I was grinding money because I didn't get enough. Yeah, it's down over here, you can find the caves, there's some enemies in there. You can get yourself some levels. I did in my practice file, I didn't have any problems. There's actually some enemies in there that are rats, and I... You know, they call in friends that help them battle. And basically what happened to me was that... They would keep calling in enemies, so I had like 80 of these things attacking me and I literally couldn't do a thing. So basically my HP just like flew down and I died and I, I started crying. But I didn't start crying. But I should have. Because I really I was really depressed. Which is why I haven't recorded in a week. And actually why I'm recording right now, I'm really not sure. Actually I just felt in a really good mood because of the whole plug-in thing. But seriously that, that made my day. Even though my day was kind of not that great. But <laughs> that's the side the point anyways, I'll probably just cut ahead until when it's later. Say round five. Oh cool, I didn't know that was there. <laughs> First thing I kicked, off camera, go figure. You know, since I'm, since I'm waiting around anyways, let me go ahead and show off some places here. I mean, why not? There's something to do, and I... Honestly, I would like to record a lot more today, but I'm only gonna be able to do a little bit because I haven't gotten... I haven't practiced far enough. And you don't want to talk to this guy, you'll hear me out. He, he sells liquor, but it keeps getting stolen from the pub. So, and he's made a horrible pun there by saying, It's so good, it's criminal, and it's getting stolen, you get it, yeah, I hope you do. If you don't, that's, that, that just makes you not a very funny person. I, I don't know what I'm saying anymore, I just, I, I don't. Anyways, over here there's a secret treasure room, but you can't get in because what? Albert is walking away. Hi, Albert. I hope you're having fun time. I know I am. Not really. But I am. And I'm pretty sure this isn't making it in the final cut, because that would be really depressing. And really the last thing to note here is the inn, which I've been in already. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> yeah, I've been in already, sorry. But yeah, uh, you can actually sleep here and pass the time and recover HP. So when you sleep in this game, it brings you automatically to 6 o'clock the next day. And unfortunately it's not like Harvest Moon where it just like, fast forwards you 8-9 hours or whatever. So basically, I wouldn't recommend doing that if you want to do the side quest, which I believe might be required to secure some later characters in the game. But I'm not entirely sure. I'm going to do it anyways because it's something to show off. If only it didn't take God knows how long to get to actually like, like get to five o'clock in the afternoon. But of course, once it's five o'clock in the afternoon, it really won't. It's really it's a huge waiting game. It's kind of it's kind of obnoxious, but oh well. I'll live. I'll live with it. And I also can't help but feel that this little area down here is a that's just a little reference to Star Ocean until the end of time. You know, in the, at the Curl Cell Mining Town? Yeah, <laughs> see, Merlin Mining Town? There's that one boarded up, you know, boarded up door behind a, like, a gate like this. Not really a gate, a wall. Not really a wall either, it's more like a little blockade. That ends up being the secret dungeon of the game? Uh, that's not the case here, but I think it's, I think this might actually be like a nice little tip of the hat, I guess you could say, to that. Since it, since I believe I said this, this game is made by the same people. And the which is indirectly made by the same group that made another game I'm planning on let's playing the future, Tales of Symphonia. Which is kind of just an interesting coincidence there. I'll probably talk about I've actually talked about that before in my my Star Ocean Let's Play like 
Part 21 or something. That's the only title I remember, because I remember ranting about random crap in that part. Which was the first half of the Let's Play. I'm like, but anyways, yeah, I'll be right back when I find something else to show off, or... Can I go in yet? No. Yeah, I'll, I'll be right back when I can show something off. Okay, is it ready? No, not yet. Okay, it should be close, I mean, really. Let me in. Ah, oh, there we go. <laughs> that worked. So once you get inside, it's a whole night. It's a little dingy atmosphere. Really, nothing much to say here. 